Slay is just the most empowering word. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can say to anyone, Slay is the best compliment yeah. ever. Like, you slay. You yeah. also slay today. Thank you. And um, so I'm gonna teach you how to say slay in Thai. Let's do it. สวัสดีค่ะเริ่มต้นเทียมาเพจคอนเทนต์ครีเอเตอร์ของเดอะตันบับและนี่คือรายการ How You Doing รายการที่จะพาคุณไปคุยกับคนดังในมุมมองที่แตกต่างออกไปตอนนี้เราอยู่กันที่ Moon Star Studio นะคะเพราะว่าวันนี้เนี่ยศิลปินที่เรากำลังจะไปเจอด้านในก็คือ BB r e x a นั่นเองค่ะซึ่งวันนี้เนี่ยเธอกำลังจะมีทัวร์ครั้งใหญ่ในกรุงเทพที่ชื่อว่า Best e v e r y Night of My Life Tour in Bangkok ซึ่งรายการ How You Doing แล้วก็เดอะสนับบับของเรานะคะได้ Exclusive Access พิเศษสุดๆอีกเช่นเคยเราไปคุยกับเธอข้างในกันดีกว่าค่ะแต่ก่อนอื่นอย่าลืมกด subscribe แล้วก็เปิด notification ของช่อง The Snap Pop เหมือนเดิมด้วยนะคะแฟนคลับมาลอยเยอะมากไปค่ะตอนนี้เราก็อยู่กับ BB v e x a แล้วนะคะ Hi BB how are you doing Good how are you I'm doing great um, such an honor to be here Thank you for having us Thanks um, for interviewing me And um, you just released um, your newest album, Baby, and you're about to see your Thai r e x u s right here. I'm so excited! Yeah. I'm about to go on stage. Yeah. And um, how was was the response from the r e x u s for your um, newest album? I mean, the r e x u s always got my back, mm -hmm. and I was just so overwhelmed by the amazing response and seeing their videos mm -hmm. and their TikToks, and it's just been um, so wonderful. They really like. Make me happy. So, mm. so I want to start this conversation by, you know, like wrapping up your milestone. So this year, 2023, um, marks your 10 years since you signed your record contract. Mm -hmm. How do you feel right now? I feel very blessed that I'm still able to do what I love. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times with artists, it's very hard to have um, such a long run. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I just love writing music, and I love being able to perform and travel the world. So to be able to still be here is incredible. Mm -hmm. And a lot has changed during 10 years. You know, artists is just not an artist anymore. You have to create, you have to collaborate, you have to do active on social media, and it comes with pressure as well. Um, how do you stay active and enjoying what you're doing right now? Um. I have a dog. Mm -hmm. so, dog therapy. That's, yeah, that's dog the best. therapy is the yeah. best. Her name is Bear. Mm -hmm. She's my best friend. Mm -hmm. So I try to go on walks with her. Um, like I like to cuddle her. And then I love cooking. Mm -hmm. I love cooking. I'm always like cooking some dishes in my house. I find that as therapy mm -hmm. um, because you don't want to be so caught up, you know, in social media all the yeah. time. And chart positions and numbers. So I try to do things that uh, balance me. And I hang out with my friends. Mm -hmm. I hang out with my family. So that's what I do. Cool. And um, as we are speaking, you about to perform to the Thai r e x u s for the first time. Um, uh, how do you physically and mentally prepare yourself for for this um, tour? Wow, I mean, it's not easy coming all the way to Asia. You know, there's like a 12-hour time difference. Um, but I um, try to get as much rest as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. Drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Have some good food. Mm -hmm. Like I've had some amazing food here in Thailand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, honestly, the energy of the crowd just gives me so much energy mm -hmm. and makes me feel so alive. So it's like a boost of energy naturally. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Thai food? Um, been pad so Thai. Oh. And then I love the curry too. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. I had like curry today for breakfast with rice. That, it was yeah. so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Thai. and rice with mango. Oh, so mango sticky rice. Oh, oh, so good. I mean, yeah, I can have it every day. Me too. Yeah. And um, the Thai people and internet loves your um, viral slay. Slay! 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 slay. Um, but not. All the, the, a lot of people don't know the whole context of that Instagram live. Yes. You know, um, can you tell us a little bit of what happened on that Instagram live for the context? Um, I feel I was on an Instagram live. Excuse me, I was on an Instagram live, and I think there was just some negative comments or you know like inappropriate comments, and um, I just started you know kind of giving a speech. Mm -hmm. You know, a positive speech mm -hmm. for all my Rexars and the bad bitches, mm -hmm. and then um, I was just feeling myself, and then I went slay, <laughs> and then it became so big yeah. on TikTok. So yeah. that was funny. Because my point is, you know, fame comes with haters and, and yeah. trolls. You know, and mm -hmm. people who can think that they can say anything to anyone. Yeah. 
Um, how do you deal with the haters and the online harassment? Um, how do I deal with haters? Um, I don't know. They don't really bother me anymore, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. I think when you grow up, yeah. you feel more, um, you know, as a woman, I feel much more empowered and strong yeah. in my skin. Of course, once in a while, you might read something and it upsets you, but um, I'm learning to love myself every day and to accept my imperfections, mm -hmm. learning to love my body, learning to love um, who I am as a person, being more compassionate with myself. So I think it's just self-love makes everything else kind of like, you know, the, the haters, it kind of makes me feel like people who hate really don't love themselves. Mm -hmm. So they are, yeah. they are projecting, their projecting yeah. yeah, they're projecting their insecurities on you. Mm -hmm. Because to me, I think like, who ha I don't have time to go and hate on mm -hmm. somebody. I'm, I'm like busy. Mm -hmm. I'm traveling, I'm in Asia, I'm in traveling the world. So it's like, I don't have time to sit at a computer and like hate on yeah. somebody. So I actually feel bad for those people. Mm -hmm. I feel sorry for them. Because my point, um, slay is just, the most empowering word. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can say to anyone, slay is the best compliment yeah. ever. Like, you slay. You yeah. also slay today. Thank you. And um, so I'm going to teach you how to say slay in Thai. Let's do it. Um, so we have a shorter word. It's bang, like bang. Bang. Bang, bang. Bang. Bang, like P-A-N-G. Oh, bang. 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 Let's bang go, ma. baby. Bang. Or you, you, if you want to do like in full word, you can yeah. say bang, mak, me. Bang, ma, me. Yes. That, bang ma me, let's that, go. That means slay mother. Ooh, Ooh. Bang ma me. Bang ma me. And you have to do like the phrase like bang ma me. Bang ma me. Mm, yeah. Bang ma me. Yes, yes, yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, last but not least, um, for some artists, you know, success means to headline a festival or to win an award or to do Super Bowl. Um, how do you define your own success? I think success is being content. Mm -hmm with all because of course like you know I wish I could win a Grammy or you know I've been nominated which is but it's the way that you look at things mm -hmm. you know so I feel like success is being able to be grateful for how far you've come mm -hmm. because you can always make more money you can always have more hits you can always be more successful but it you know at the end of the day it has to come down to you truly loving yourself and being all oh, the fans are outside waving hi Sorry. <laughs> um, so I just think uh, with success, it's a personal thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just about charts, positions, mm -hmm. and awards. It's about are you happy within yeah. yourself and can you find peace within yourself? At the end of the day, it's about inner peace. Inner peace is yeah. everything. So um, thank you so much for being thank here you. today. Thank you. Thank you so much.